This is Peter Bint of Hashtag Daily K. Please enjoy hour number two of a Tuesday. Welcome to Korea with Minji. If you're into Korea, then surely you have a favorite one of these. Learning Korean through famous lines from K-dramas, movies, and even songs on... Welcome to Korea. With Minji. Yes, it's Tuesday, and that means we've got Minji in the studio to learn Korean through dramas, movies, and songs. Uh, the popular ones that are popular here, but also around the world. Um... Hello, <laughs> 선생님. <laughs> 아, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 잘 부탁드립니다. <laughs> I'm not scared. That's not what Peter told me. He said, he said you were the scariest teacher ever. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, how, but, are, yeah. how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing great, and it's really good to see you here. Uh, yes, yes. Lovely <laughs> to meet you for the first time. I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to, uh, to exploring some Korean phrases today. Right. Let's move on to... The Korean lesson, <laughs> the very scary Korean lesson. Yeah. <laughs> and what are we going to be learning today? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, as always, we are going to learn three phrases from one Korean drama. And do you want me to read out these three Korean uh, phrases? Do you usually read them or does Peter usually read them? Uh, I always do it. Well, then I would like you to read them, of course. <laughs> yeah. Yes, please read them. Okay, so the first <laughs> sentence is 어떻게 해서든 벌어서 갚겠습니다. Okay, and what does that mean? You have no idea? I know. Otoke means how. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, but, but the kapkesunida, I, I don't know what that bit is. Right, it's kind of longer sentence. So it means like, I try my hardest to pay you. Okay, all right, yes. Yeah, um, I, I, but yeah I, I see that. Okay, we'll get, we'll get into that in detail a little <laughs> yeah, later. Yeah, of course. Oh, goodness. Uh, what yeah. about the second okay, sentence? Okay, so the second sentence is 구십프로 깎. Now, this one I know, because uh, when I first came to Korea, I would go to the Tongdaemun night market mm-hmm. to buy clothes. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> this yeah. expression, kakachuseo, was it's used the, a lot. Yeah, yeah, it's the essential <laughs> phrase, right? And it means, like, please reduce it by 90%. Okay, okay, mm-hmm. good. And then our third, our third sentence today. Okay, so third sentence is, 제가 무릎이라도 꿇겠습니다. So we're doing something with our knees. Mm-hmm. I know we're doing something with our knees. Mm-hmm. Are, we, mm-hmm. are we bending right, them? Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. uh, similar, uh, it means I'll, I'll get on my knees. Uh, or oh. I'll kind of kneel down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That sounds like it's a, it's a little bit of a difficult situation if you have to kneel. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so yeah. what is our situation today? What, are we, what, what scene, what kind of scene are we looking at? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of it, well, actually, today's scene is about between um, uh, there is a head of National Tax Service TF team. Oh, this Kang, is very scary. Yeah, Kang Min Jung, and she's investigating Cha Mushik, your character. Uh, okay. Yeah, who is suspected of illegal casino tax evasion. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. <laughs> right. Um. But you know, I am going to demand you that you need to pay like certain amount of tax pay, uh, payment. I can't afford that. <laughs> and you're going to insist reduction of uh, it by 90%. Of course I am. <laughs> but it's like 90%. Yeah, I can't, I can't pay 100%. I can't, I can't pay any of it. Right. Uh, but that's, that, that's the, um, what is this about? Oh, you mean about? I don't actually have to pay? Uh, oh, oh phew, okay. I thought this was real. <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, good. So I'm going to be mm-hmm. Chan uh, this uh, guy who's uh, suspected of tax evasion. You're playing mm-hmm. Kang Min Jung, yep. who is the uh, big scary head of the National Tax Service team, mm-hmm. and uh, we're going to bargain. Mm. Okay, right. all right. Are you are you ready to act? Uh, yeah, of course. How about you? <laughs> Are uh, nervous? Y- y- yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's let's go. <laughs> 你不要再做这些理由了，但我们还有任何理由不去。Miss your wife seems like a very innocent woman, don't you think? <sighs> Could you please stop going to my family's apartment? Just talk to me. I also saw that you sold your apartment in a hurry. Are you going to the Philippines? Yes, I'm going to live with my family now. So you're not coming back? 
Well, that would depend on how you treat me. I'm not saying that I'm not going to pay my taxes, okay? I'm just asking you to reduce it by a little bit. I can't really afford that money right now. If you keep telling me to pay that money, then I can't come back to Korea. Fine. Then pay 4 billion won. Honestly, I can't even pay that much, but. But if you keep doing this, then I guess I'll just have to go to jail, right? I'll just go to jail. There's nothing else that I can do. Oh, please help me out with this, yeah? If you reduce the amount by just a little bit. Then 1.6 billion. I took 80% off. Oh, you've got to pay this much at the very least. Oh, come on, you can't pay this much, right? Oh, don't do this, please. Oh, Miss Kang, I'm begging you. Please trust me, okay? Please just trust me this once. Please, please have some mercy. I love your acting. Sorry, Are you okay? I, got, I got very emotional there. <laughs> Spent three years at yeah, drama school. I can school. feel that. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Take, I take my acting very seriously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can feel how you're desperate in this scene as well. <laughs> my, my only problem is I couldn't do the main character, Satori. Mm. Uh, if you've seen this drama, he doesn't mm-hmm. speak with your regular Korean accent. He speaks with a regional accent. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm not that good of an actor. <laughs> <laughs> but you do really well. Thank you. Well, <laughs> I, I guess we need to give some clues as to what this drama might be. Tell us a little bit more about the drama. Yeah, um, maybe um, this word might be very uh, helpful to the listeners. Uh, there is a man starting a business related casino. He is like uh, the legend of the casino business. After fleeing to the Philippines due to, you know, obviously a crackdown by the National Tax Service, then somehow he is firstly framed as a suspect of a murder case. So, yes. yeah, that's what it is about. And uh, as for this drama, the timeline is kind of mixed. So it takes us from the, you know, uh, 2015 to 1917s. So you can uh, learn the childhood from the current moment about this, this main character. So, yeah. Yes, I bet our listeners may have an idea what it could be. Do let us know. Send in your messages uh, on <laughs> yep. the website, on the YouTube live stream. Let us know. But also, mm-hmm. we want your listening practice. Yeah, we want right. you to get onto the Kakao Plus uh, Daily K channel and send in your Korean. Mm-hmm. So what are the phrases we want to hear today? Um, yeah, the, the three phrases that, yes. that, that we practice. Yeah. Yes. So I encourage our listeners to send a voice uh, okay. mail to the Kakao Talk. Welcome to Arirang Radio. If you are in Jeju, 88.7 in Jeju City, 88.1 in Sogipu City, 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Arirang Radio. Yes, you're listening to Daily K, and it is Welcome to Korea with uh, Minji, who is going to be correcting your Korean a little bit later. Do send in your voice notes to Kakao. Uh, talk to Daily K. I've seen we've got quite a few already. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but we also have to reveal what the mm-hmm. drama we're talking about today is. Let's, uh, let's see who we've got. Yeah. Uh, we've got Benny mm-hmm. uh, saying, is it Kachino or Big Bet? Siska uh, mm-hmm. asking, is it Payback 2 or something? Or is it Big Bet? <laughs> um, uh, Leon also saying it's big bet casino. Uh, casino. Uh, Stacy going for payback too. Mm. Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I think we're, we've we've got it for the most part. Hartley saying I think it's big bet the drama. Uh, well, let's reveal the answer. Um, do you want to put some money on it? What is the title? Yeah, it's casino in Korean, and in English title it's big. Bad. Yay! Yeah, I really confused our writer yesterday. Right? Because um, she was saying, uh, mm-hmm. uh, you, you have to watch the sheen, scene from this uh, Chae Min-shik drama. Mm-hmm. And I said, oh, you mean Big Bet? And she looked at me going, hmm? Because she knows the Korean name. She, did, <laughs> she didn't think about the English name. Um, tell us a little bit about this drama. Mm-hmm. So, um, like I said, uh, this drama uh, follows the turbulent life of a man. Uh, Cha Mu Shi, uh, he became the legend in the casino world after many twists and turns, and he suddenly get involved in a murder case. 
Uh, yeah, I started watching this yesterday because yeah? I knew we were going to be talking about it, and uh, I watched the first episode, and mm-hmm. oof, it starts off with a bang. Right, um, right, right, and, right. But also, I love that you get to see these childhood scenes. Ah, uh, right. I mean, but that's also kind of heartbreaking. Of course, yeah, yeah. because he was kind of bended from his mother, and his dad's a gangster. Yeah, and in jail. So how can it be for like the young child? It's a kind of devastating. It is. You know? But it was a different time back in the 70s. Mm-hmm. If you were a kid in the 70s and your parents weren't wealthy, you were going to oh, struggle. You were right. going to have a very hard time. I can't really imagine how hard it'd be. All right. Um, and we have to talk about the man himself uh, mm-hmm. who plays Cha Mu Shik. It's mm-hmm. the big boy who's come back to drama after a very long time. It's... Yeah, it's Che m i n s h i the very famous actor in Korea, right? I was really shocked that he was coming back to dramas. Uh, yeah. I mean, he mostly in the movies, right? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, my favorite, I think my all-time favorite has to be Old Boy. Mm? Um, <gasps> he, right. That's perf- the legend. <laughs> yeah, his performance in that was astonishing. Mm-hmm. And I think the whole wo- world sort of fell in love with him when they saw that film and were also right, right, right. rather upset. Um, <laughs> who else is in the movie, in the, in the drama? Uh, another famous actor. I kind of, kind of recently into him. Uh, he's Son s o k g o Okay, I'm not familiar with him. Where might we have seen him? Um, in you know recent dramas. Yes. Uh, in n a e Hebang i l j i Okay. That's probably the famous drama. All right. Starring him. Uh, anyway, uh, his role in this drama is police. So he's chasing Che Min Sik, the Cha Mu Sik. Uh, he's kind of really eager to catch him. Uh, yes. Yeah, well, yeah, we, yeah. we won't say whether he does or not. We won't spoil the <laughs> oh, ending. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, any, any other leading, leading actors in this, in this drama we should talk about? Uh, well, also, Lee Dong-hui is there. Okay. Uh, Lee Dong-hui is like, a, um, I would say, the agent that works for the c h a m u s h i I see. Yeah, they are really close and work for the casino business in the Philippines. <laughs> Okay, well, this, is, this has been getting a lot of attention. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, what, what has come up from it? What kind of issues mm. does it deal with? Well, 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 well. Um, <laughs> it's the um, original drama series uh, yeah. in the Disney Plus, I would say. Okay. Um, and the director of this drama is also famous for, for the other drama called p o m j e Doshi. Like oh. Outlaw, have you seen that? That was a movie, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. It was a fantastic oh, sorry. movie. It's not a drama, it's a movie. Right? Yeah, Ma Dong s o k s starring as the cop who cleans up Chinatown. Uh huh, right, right, it, right. It's an amazing film. I, I, this explains why it's been so popular because, yeah, that <laughs> film was a masterpiece. Mm, so um, you, you are kind of into that kind of films, right? Like I like all sorts of films. And suspenseful. Oh, yeah. I also like Yopki Joking Gunyo. I like My Sassy Girl, too. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I like Claire. <laughs> No offense, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like all sorts, but it's when you see an actor like Che Min Shik, mm. that's what I'm attracted to. Because I'm like, I want to see what he does with this performance. I want to see mm. how good he is in this performance. Right. Well, look at a couple of messages today. Jeffrey is saying, OMG, Old Boy is my favorite movie. It is a fantastic <laughs> film. I, I mean, right. anything by Park Chanuk. Mm. Um, even h e o j i n Koshim, Decision to Leave, which I saw recently. Mm-hmm. That was such a brilliant movie. Right. It's a masterpiece. It really is. So yeah. I'm a I'm a big fan of him. I'm a big fan of all his movies. <laughs> Tigrish, um, we were talking about um, the poverty in the 70s. And Tigrish is asking, well, how does that differ from today, Paul? If your parents aren't well off today, you're going to suffer. And more so today, since your parents are going to have to work more than they did in the 70s. I understand your point, Tigrish. But for context, back mm-hmm. in the 70s, there wasn't the support system that we have now mm-hmm. for underprivileged kids. Mm-hmm. Um, yes, it, yes, you will suffer now. But if you watch the drama, you'll see how basically the main character as a kid gets dropped off. at the orphanage by his mum mm. and she says I'll see right. you in a month and then she and doesn't turn up for yeah, ages yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, where they don't have the money to buy anything they, they go and they, they dig for fire ants mm. because they can get a few won for that but they don't even have enough money to buy what they want to eat um, right. so it, it's a very different situation Korea was a very different place in the 1970s mm. so thank you Tigrish I understand but yeah you really see how the kids are suffering Oh, dear. Those poor children. Mm. No wonder he turned out that way. Um, mm. Tigris also saying, Peter wanted to scare you. I know. I'll be having <laughs> words with him once he comes back. Um, so we are going to look at these three, three sentences. Let's give them out uh, in Korean one more time before we start listening to the voice notes. What was our first sentence? Okay. So the first sentence is, 어떻게 해서든 벌어서 갚겠습니다. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that means? 
Um, that means um, I will, uh, by any means, yeah. I am going to earn money and pay back to you. Yeah, I'm going to pay you back no matter what. What's yeah. our second sentence? Um, 90% uh, Which means? Um, please reduce it by 90%. And then our final third sentence? 제가 무릎이라도 꿇겠습니다. Which means? I will get my kneel down. I'm going to kneel down for you. I'm going to do what it takes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. And in this scene, Che min Shik really is ready to get on his knees. He doesn't mm. want to pay that tax bill. <laughs> right. Okay. We've got, we've got a lot of messages in today, mm-hmm. a lot of voice notes. We're going to go for the first one. It's Siska. You're first up. Yay. Let's see. I'm going to see. I'm going to press this very carefully. This is our <laughs> first voice note. Ooh. Fantastic. Generally, yeah, it's good. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I think that's really good. Siska. I'm impressed by your pronunciation. We'll go. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, oh yeah. go ahead. <laughs> um, why don't we focus on the the first sentence? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, because I've heard that the poroso sound a bit like poroso. Ah, okay. Yeah, but it should be like poroso. Like you transfer the last ending sound to the next syllable. All right, so take that real and mm-hmm. shift it over to the next yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, set. yeah, that's what I mean. But okay. also. Okay, that's really good. Yeah, I had that issue when I first came to Korea sometimes. I wasn't mm-hmm. sure, is this going to be a hard L or is it going to be a soft R? <laughs> right. It changes right. again and again. <laughs> but in, in most cases, you can just, you know, the the transfer layer to the E. Uh, yes, yeah. I think yeah, yeah. the one that really confused me, and this is not a patchim, <laughs> it's not at the bottom, it's at the mm. start, is guk rim. Mm. Which becomes guknip. Mm. Yeah, right, where right, that real right, right. becomes an a nian. Oh, right, right. And ah, for, a lo- kind of for the longest time, I got really confused. I was like, <laughs> how does an R become an N? <laughs> <laughs> right, guknip, right. Okay, we're going to our next person. Mm-hmm. We're going to uh, Benedict, uh, who says, uh, Morning, Paul and Minji, here are today's clips. Which uh, sentence should we look at here? Uh, maybe this one. What the so um, I admire that he kind of split the the two chunks after 해서든 and then 벌어서 갚겠습니다. Yes. Yeah, that's what it should be. And 어떻게 should be kind of more naturally, I would say. It's not like 어떻게, but 어떻게. Yeah, it's that I think as as a language learner, I find myself sometimes Mm -hmm. uh, putting too much energy or too much force into Mm, syllables because I want to pronounce them correctly, Mm. but it just makes me sound angry. (laughs) So it's (laughs) that happens to me as well. (laughs) Yeah, so it's 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 a question of just taking a breath Mm -hmm. and letting it letting it flow a little more smoothly. It's a tough (laughs) thing to do. Right. So it should be otoke. Just right. relaxed in a relaxed way. <laughs> okay. So, 어떻게 해서든 means like anyhow or anyways in yes. Korean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 어떻게 means like how, and 해서 means like do so, and then 든 means like um, whatever is, it is chosen, it doesn't matter. That okay. kind of meaning is implied. So, 어떻게 해서든 means um, in any manner or in any way. All right. It's the first time for me to to to, to come across hesotun. I don't I don't remember ever learning this. This is really useful. Mm. And then the second part we've got a uh, boroso. Mm-hmm. Can, uh, can you explain a bit about this? Yeah, of course. So it comes from the verb polda. It means to uh, make a money, to earn a money. Oh polda. yes. Okay. Yeah. Of course. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure you've already heard this verb polda. Well, I, I do need to earn money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't mani, mani I didn't, I didn't uh, manage to earn a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, and it means parda. And uh, there is also, it means like um, ways or like method. It connects to um, sentences to mean the ways. Okay. And then that's your um, method. And then kapta means like to pay back. Right. Mm. But this is a polite payback. Mm, right, right, right. Uh, because there is this 씁니다 ending. And uh, get here, it shows your will, willingness. Yes. I will pay back. Yeah, you f- <laughs> I find this using a lot with clients when I'm doing freelance work. Oh, yeah? 하겠습니다. <laughs> yeah, I, will, I will do it. I promise I yeah, will do it. Yeah, that's really important. <laughs> important here. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's another one of those tricky things with the Korean language. I think Korean, mm-hmm. um, learning Hangul, for example, is very simple. Mm-hmm. And learning the basics is, is really simple. But then when you start having to think about 
honorifics mm. or casual speech or impolite right. speech, mm-hmm. and suddenly um, whole verbs can change. All oh, right, like the, the depending way, on our tenses and yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the, the saying um, "have a nice sleep," for example, mm-hmm. to to mm-hmm. your grandma oh. is different to saying "have a nice sleep" to your uh, little sister or little brother. Right, it's completely different. <laughs> yeah, it's fascinating. Okay. Are we okay with the explanation here? Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, of course. Um, I want to talk about this "cap k e s u n i d a because yes. it um, seems like trickier than other parts. So "cap" there is um, p uh, ending sound, yeah, which originally has the p sound, but it it has to be "cap" with the p p a c h i m "cap." Okay. <laughs> it so seems it's like a, it's, you're a, it's, it's like a almost like a glottal stop. It's a it's a shortened p p a Uh, right, right. And then, cap, get, ah, cap, get, s u m n i d a So, yes. get sh- should be like, get. So, so, again, it's that shortened, it's, yeah, and then with the, with the patchim as well. And another confusing thing, the shiot, the S at the bottom, mm-hmm. becomes this, almost like a T, a glottal right, T. Right, 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 right. And s u m n i d a goes like, s u m n i d a Oh, so that's the nice smooth bit. Yeah, yeah. Not the b b a c h i m but the m mm, sound. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, it's, it goes... <laughs> Cap g e s u m n i d a Right, perfect. Cap g e s u m n i d a Really? Was it perfect? Yeah. Oh my goodness, I got a compliment from Minji. I'm doing so well. <laughs> Great. Okay. Oh dear, um, I, I'm not doing so well anymore. Yes, okay. Now, all about Korea. Korea. Arirang Radio. We can move on to the second two. Okay. Uh, second sentence. Second sentence. Uh, yeah. le- let's see what we've got. Sherry? Here. Yes. Let's take may, a listen. May I? Oh, yeah, <laughs> please do. Yeah. Oh, we've moved on to sentence three, Sherry. We'll come back to you for sentence three. Oh, no, that's sentence two. Mm. I'm getting confused as well. Yeah, yeah, Sorry, yeah. Sherry. <laughs> Minji, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm confused. Kind of. <laughs> so it's like, 90% yes. uh, May I look, listen to this one more? 90% mm. So I found the pro sound a bit like pro. Okay. Yeah, again, the l e a r sound should be... Um, Uh, pronounced well, puro. It should be puro. Yeah, so it's a bit, mm. little more of an R than an L. Mm. It sounds like a f- uh, f- flapping uh, rear sound. Flapping? Yeah, flapping T sound, like water, that, uh, the flapping sound. Kushi puro. Okay, I've never, I've never heard of the term <laughs> flapping used when talking about language. Yeah, this is, this is really good. Yeah, so it's, that, it's the flapping sound, puro, puro. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> It just made me surprised. k u s h i p u r o Why are you surprised? Uh, I mean, it's perfect. <laughs> oh dear, I flustered, uh, yeah. I flustered the Korean teacher. Uh, it's hard here. Um, so yeah, k u s h i p means like 90. It's a Sino-Korean number. And when yes. it comes to the percent, you have to use the Sino-Korean number. Yeah, num- numbers, when it's, when it's <laughs> counting, we're always using Sino-Korean mm, numbers. Mm, mm. And it's not k u s h i p but k u s h i p k u s h i p Yep. All right. Now, I, w- I have a question for you, and I, I, I wonder, I hear sometimes percent used, mm-hmm. but uh, which is the more common, pro or percent? Um, in colloquial speech, I would definitely go to the pro. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some pro, s h i pro, yeah. So if you want to sound like a native Korean speaker, pro is the way to go. Mm-hmm, right. I think I've never uh, heard of the percent by my friends or any casual speech. Okay, you hang yeah, out yeah. with the cool kids then, obviously. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, And let's look at this, this, uh, this second part, the k a k a c h i s e o Why don't we? Oh, oh yes. Yeah, listen to uh, other clips from Absolutely, maybe yes. Alex. 90% kakachuseyo. Oh, Ooh, that was really good. 90% oh, kakachuseyo. Sorry. Yeah. Ooh. I, I, Alex, your pronunciation is excellent. You mm. sounded Korean. <laughs> Alex, are you Korean? <laughs> That's actually a common thing that he often heard from this show. <laughs> I see. Yes. <laughs> so, any corrections for, for Alex? Um, as always, it's good. Kakkajuseyo, uh, the part is supernatural. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Maybe since we got pretty. Hold on one second. We're, we're, we're having technical hitches. 
90% 깎아주세요. <웃음> Teto, this is really good as well. Right. It's more natural. 90% 깎아주세요. I also want to say the acting is fantastic. <웃음> right, right, right. I love the accent. Um, so maybe we can take a look at this verb, 깎다. Uh, yes. Yeah, it means, uh, in this context, it means to discount. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it, and it's also, it's, this again, this is a polite way of saying things. Mm-hmm. The, the chuseyo, rather mm. than saying kakado. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's really weird. Like, you go like kakado in the markets. It's, no, it's super weird. you wouldn't want to do that. That oh, would, no, be, that would be really terrible. insulting. Yeah, so it should be kakado seyo. Uh, and it sounds like ka is almost like duplicated when you're pronouncing. So it's like kakado seyo. Okay, so the same, yeah. the s- same sound again. Mm-hmm. 깎아주세요. 깎아주세요. Yes. 깎아주세요. I don't know whether, whether we use it so much anymore because our traditional markets have, have well, they've not all disappeared, but they've mm-hmm. shrunk. Mm-hmm. And we've lost a lot of the sort of the bargaining tradition that we mm-hmm. used to have here. Right, right, right. Do you find yourself using this in daily life? Well, obviously, I don't go to the market, like traditional market. So I don't use this phrase in this uh, in this kit, uh uh, I forget the a word. Yeah, in, uh, re- in your you real know. life situation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I, I would say if you come to Korea, you go to the convenience store, mm-hmm. you will not be using this term. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you cannot say that. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot even say like, kakajo. <laughs> okay, no, you will stay away from that unless you're bargaining with the tax service. <laughs> okay, so uh, why don't we move on to the third phrase? I'm looking forward to this one. This is the hardest one, at least for me, in terms of pronunciation. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to listen to Leon first. Let's hear how you're doing. Okay. 제가 무릎이라도 꿇겠습니다. That was that was very clear for me. Yeah. How, what did you think? Oh, yeah, I think so. Um, but this 꿇겠습니다 should be more, I would say, natural. I don't want to use the word natural, but yeah, yeah. It, it should be 꿇겠습니다, the k sound. 꿇겠습니다. Gulketsumnida. Yeah, yeah. Gulketsumnida. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's a hard one for me too. And it's also because I, I I have a problem with the double kyok or the mm. double mm. shiot or the double biup. Mm. Um, I always find them a little bit scary because <laughs> I'm worried I'm going to mispronounce them. <laughs> right. My wife it, my wife insists I can never say the word for bread properly. Mm, bang? You mean the. Bang. <laughs> oh, it, it's okay. It sounds okay. Can, can I record you saying that and then I'll play it to my wife? <laughs> <laughs> It, it's it's really it's really hard, I think, as a non-native right. speaker to, to yeah, use these double plosives. Right, right, but right. fantastic. So Leon, really good job there. Mm. We'll take a listen to someone else. We'll see how they're yeah, doing. Who maybe. have we got here? This is Hartley. We'll see how Hartley does on this third sentence. Mm. Mm. So uh, it should be like this. Uh, I, I heard that mulupilado or something. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it should be mulupilado. Yeah, so again with the real on the top of the second character set, it's mm-hmm. that, that flap, as you talk about the flapping R. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I want to talk about this mulup. So mulup means like ni. And uh, when it is followed by irado, yes. most Koreans also pronounce it like mulupilado with the beep sound. Ah. But the correct pronunciation is mulupilado. Okay. So I would say either ways are possible because, yeah, you know, in spoken Korean, most Koreans also say it like this. That's really fascinating. I, I, I find it really curious that, that there, are, there are some things in Korean that everybody says, mm-hmm. but a lot of people say it the wrong way, or yeah. at least not the official way. And yet it, it's OK. It's the way that language has developed. Yeah, yeah, right. So, yeah, I, I just wanted to mention that. Uh, yes, okay, but f- uh, fantastic. Thank you, Hartley. Really good job. Yeah, you, you, you did really well. All right. I think we have... Oh, we've got Raoul has sent in his uh, voice notes as well. It'll be interesting to see how you do. Yes, or sentence number three from Raoul. Okay. Mm? <laughs> yeah, that was very good. I, I, I think there was an, a motorbike or a lawnmower in the background, which made it a little hard to hear. But yeah. what did you think of that? Uh, I think mu sounds a bit like mu, but ah. yeah, it should be murup. Murup. Yeah. And murup gulta means kneel, like kneel down, or you get your knee down. Yeah, that's the, the key phrase here. Murup gulta. Murup gulta. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I also, I also want to talk about this irado. 
Because irado kind of implied the second best option here. Ah. Muruk irado. So it's the most acceptable option, I would say. So it's not the you know most preferred option. So he doesn't want to do it, but he will do it if he has to. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is really interesting. Okay, so if we see irado, it's mm-hmm. often because you're sort of there's a little bit of oh, I don't want to do this. There's a better way. Right, 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 right. Muruk irado. If ah. this kneel down is still okay, I will do it. Muruk irado. Yeah, I, I, this is fascinating stuff for me. I love this. I, 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 can I ask you now? Mm-hmm. Um, to, we'll go through the three sentences one more time, but can you g- give your, your perfect pronunciation for each, <laughs> just so our, our listeners can hear them one yeah, more time? Yeah, why not? Our first sentence was... <laughs> oh my God, I'm a little bit nervous. You should be. <laughs> it should be. 어떻게 해서든 벌어서 갚겠습니다. 어떻게 해서든 벌어서 갚겠습니다. Uh, you said I messed up. I, messed <laughs> okay. up. I was nervous too. <laughs> it's longer than this. Yeah. Uh, and if you think it's um, longer, when it comes to 어떻게 해서든, you can kind of abbreviate it into 어떻게든. 어떻게든. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, 어떻게든 okay. 벌어서 갚겠습니다. Very good. Uh, th- let's go on to the second sentence. Give us your perfect pronunciation, please. <laughs> 90% 깎아주세요. 90% 깎아주세요. Yeah, please. 깎아주세요. That yes. kind of desperate accent would be included. Okay. Yeah, I love to speak Korean with a desperate accent. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Your perfect pronunciation for our third sentence, please. 제가 무릎이라도 꿇겠습니다. 제가 무릎이라도 꿇겠습니다. Yeah, 꿇겠습니다. The k sound. 꿇겠. 꿇겠. Yeah. Is that right? Um, no, it's not right. She's giving me that look. <laughs> Gulkat. It's it's gul as in cat. Oh yeah. Gulkat. Yeah yeah. Gul gul and cat. Gulketsunida. <laughs> Gulketsunida. Oh, that, that, that's that's good. Thank you, Gopi Nimi. Just gave me that tip. Um, <laughs> I, I I I think I think my Korean could do a little bit with a little bit of work. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and read some books, Minji. <laughs> thank uh, you. Thank you so much for all of this. Oh uh, yeah. Thank you. It's really good to <laughs> learn these phrases with you. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Um, and uh, and uh, I, I'm, I'm, I I I thank you greatly for helping our listeners out, for helping me out. And uh, next week you'll get to test. Alex. I'm not sure what his <laughs> Korean will be like, yeah. um, but be of hard course. on him. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm seeing him on Thursday, and I'm gonna tell him you're scary. <laughs> uh, but we we have been friends for over the past oh, years. It's not gonna work. Oh well, never mind. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, we'll see you again thank next you. Tuesday. Yeah, see you. Thank you for listening to Welcome to Korea with Minji, a corner you can hear on Hashtag Daily K in hour number two on Tuesday.